In this video, we'll look at how to create a job directly within the mobile app. This includes how to select the job number, customer and location, and how to specify operatives, vehicles and trailers to do the work. Let's get started. Normally, jobs are created within the ERP system and assigned to you by your manager. However, it is also possible to create and assign jobs directly within the mobile app. This is typically in order to add an emergency job, work that needs adding at short notice. To do this, select Create Job or Jobs from the dashboard or Menu. The Create Job page displays. Your operative name and the date display at the top. To create a job, enter details in the fields below. If you want to link the new job to an existing job, select the job number, also known as the work reference, from the job number menu. The menu will list any jobs you or any other selected operatives are allocated to between the start and end dates below. If there are no jobs listed in the menu, or if the new job is not linked to an existing job, tap NA, meaning not applicable. If the new job is linked to a fault code, enter it in the fault code field. Next, select the customer the work is for. If the new job is not linked to a customer, for example, cleaning the yard or washing vehicles at the depot, tap NA. You'll need to enter the contact name, your contact at the company you are doing the work for. This is entered automatically if a default contact name has been saved for the selected customer. For non-customer work, this might be your manager. Next, you'll need to specify the location of the work by entering the road name, city and postcode. To automatically select your current location as the job site, tap the location icon. Next, you'll need to select the job code based on the work that needs doing. For example, if the requirement is to change traffic light batteries, then you'll select the job code for this requirement. Job details are entered when you select the job code, but you may edit the description as necessary. Workflow refers to the various steps taken by the operative to complete this type of job. See the video on completing a job workflow for details about this. The workflow is entered automatically when you select the job code, but you may select an alternative if you want. You'll need to enter the start and end dates of the job. Today's date is entered automatically. Next, enter the shift start time for the work. You have the option of adding the shift end time. The next section involves defining the resources to do the work. First, select the operative the work will be assigned to. Your own name is added by default. You may select more than one operative if you need to. Tap the X if you need to remove items from the list. Next, select the vehicles required for the job. Select as many as required. Finally, you have the option of selecting any trailers required for the job. As with vehicles, you can select as many as necessary. You'll also need to enter the time when the customer rang to ask for the job to be added. When you've completed all of the required fields, you'll need to save the job. To do this, tap Save. Job details are saved and synchronised with the ERP system. An email with job details is automatically sent to the designated operative or manager. If the new job was assigned to you, it will now display in My Jobs, ready for you to confirm your attendance. See the separate video on confirming and signing up for jobs.